Well, 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 today I've got a very special video for you because uh, I'm going to be going back in time and sharing with you the three things I wish I hadn't done when I started my agency. It slowed me down, it wasted me a ton of energy, and most importantly, it wasted me a ton of money. Meaning, if I hadn't done these things, if I hadn't made these mistakes, I would have gotten to 10K, even 15K a month uh, much, much faster. And so I'm going to be sharing those mistakes with you because also I see so many rookie agency owners make these same mistakes that I was making. And quite frankly, it breaks my heart to see it because I just know that if you were to solve them, you'd be able to reach success much faster. So without further ado, very excited for this video and uh, let's get right into it. Oh God, this one is a big one. And the first mistake that I was making is that I started selling my service without having an irresistible offer. One of the things that I preach a lot nowadays is you need to make sure you have an irresistible offer. And it's one of those things that you don't really hear anyone talk about, the fact that you have to have something that the market truly wants and that's gonna light the market on fire. Not just the regular core offer that every single agency offers, right? We get it, you do Facebook ads, so do a million other people, right? And so it's very, very important that you understand your niche. First of all, go very specific inside your niche. Even the people that take my advice and they lean towards the e-commerce side of the agency, you need to make sure you, you narrow down into the e-commerce niche, right? You need to understand that specific niche very, very well, at least initially, right? And so make sure that you have that very specific niche, then understand the core problem, okay, that they share, and also understand the appealing promise and something that they're really gonna resonate with, right? Let's just, uh, for example, uh, say that you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna serve tech brands, right? So you need to get crystal clear on what do tech brands want to achieve, apart from obviously, you know, making money, increasing the revenue, profit, sales, ROAS, right? What is it that they're trying to achieve? What is their core mission? What ignites their passion? What gets them out of, the, out of bed in the morning, right? And that might be, you know, staying on the edge of innovation, right? That might be creating a, a tribe of loyal fans around their products, right? It might also be increasing human performance and productivity through the use of technology. So there's a myriad of things that people in that specific space value, right? And you need to understand their language. You need to understand how they speak and what things they truly care about to be able to really resonate with them. Once you've done that, then you need to get crystal clear on how your offer is going to differ from other agencies in the space, right? Most agencies in the space are offering the typical three to six month retention rate. They are offering a Facebook ads package. They're not really based on performance. And if they are, they're just doing a, a robust deal, right? So get creative. Understand that if you stand out from the market, it's going to be so much easier. In fact, I say this in a bunch of my videos, the fact that sales and outreach is not the whole game, right? Sales and outreach should not float the boat, meaning it should not uh, be the, the one thing that uh, saves your agency, but it should steam the boat, meaning it should make the boat, it should make the agency go faster and scale much more aggressively, okay? And so the main problem, and going back to, to the first mistake, the main problem that a lot of people make is they start selling the service and they really struggle with sales and outreach. Sure, the strategy might not be the best, or maybe they're not tapping into the best outreach method for their niche, or maybe their email copy is just a complete mess. But if they just had an irresistible offer, how much easier would it be to get people on a call? How much easier would it be to get them to watch a video on it, right? If you can put an offer that is irresistible in front of your niche, and you can frame it and phrase it in a language that they're gonna be able to understand and really resonate with, then your sales and outreach is only gonna take things to a whole new level. The second mistake that rookie agency owners are making is that instead of attracting, they are repelling. And this is all about your email copy, the way you speak to uh, prospects, and just the whole tone that you use for your outreach and sales. One of the core ideas that was popularized by Stephen Covey, the author of The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, is that you need to seek to understand before being understood. I feel like there's this narrative being pushed around in the space, uh, basically saying that you have to come at them, right? You have to tell them what they're doing wrong and how much money they're leaving on the table. And bear in mind, I've tried this for years. At this point, I put in hundreds of hours on my outreach, right? I've tested so many different types of email copies and tonalities. I can assure you that that type of tonality where you're coming at them, right? You're telling them what they're doing wrong and how you're gonna solve the whole thing for them. Uh, is completely backwards, right? And it's not gonna get you the same results that coming at them purely with a value-based mindset is going to get you. Now, what I'm not saying is completely avoid the hard truths, which is telling them, hey, you're not doing something well, right? Something here needs to change and we're very positive we can do that for you. But as the first point of contact, you need to lead with value where sure you share with them some of the things that they could be doing to, uh, to better things, but you open them up to the upside of fixing these things first by focusing on the positive 
components of their business, right? And, and also by understanding who you're speaking to. If you're speaking to a CMO, they're not gonna be as emotionally bought into the business as a CEO, right? So you need to understand what does the CMO care about, right? Do they care about keeping their job? Do they care about making the CEO happy? So phrase it in terms that they're gonna resonate with because as humans, we're all chasing good emotions. And when you come at them with negative emotions, they're gonna close themselves off, especially because you are a complete stranger. The final point that I will say on this, and this is more of a, a mindset shift to be honest, is you need to go from a salesy mindset, right? You need to go from thinking, I need to sell them something to a doctor's mindset, where you're first diagnosing the problem without offering the solution. And then based on that problem, you've got a solution for them and you've always got their benefit in mind. If you wanna learn more about this uh, completely different approach, I've got quite a few videos on how to write really high converting email copies. Um, and I will leave it right here. And you can check it out after this video. So that is the second mistake. The third mistake that rookie agency owners are making is that they're not smashing the like button on videos that they may be finding of value. And so in all seriousness, if you're enjoying this video, if you're finding value uh, from this video, go ahead and gently tap the like button. Uh, YouTube just finds it extremely sexy when that thing turns blue. Uh, I would really appreciate it. Helps out on with the algorithm. And with that being said, let's get back into the video onto the third and final mistake that rookie agency owners are making. And that mistake is not being data-driven enough. I vividly remember seeing a tipping point with uh, the results I was getting with my sales and outreach. Before that tipping point, I was sending out hundreds of cold emails, like most people, you know, banging out hundreds of cold calls, right? And no one would answer, no one would be interested in my service. And I just thought that the uh, key component was being relentless, was being um, you know, committed, and just keep banging out hundreds of cold emails, hundreds of, of, cold, um, of cold calls, and just putting your head down and not really questioning things, right? As long as you got your uh, your benchmark for the day, you were good. And you could even celebrate if you hit those benchmarks. And then I realized that was completely useless. And even worse, it was a, a full sense of moving forward, right? Because sure, I was hitting those uh, benchmarks, but nothing was coming back. I, I wasn't seeing results, okay? And the tipping point happened when I became very data-driven with my approach. Based on the person that I was speaking to, I started split testing different subject lines. I started uh, split testing different email copies and different call to actions based on the person that uh, of the organization and the business that I was speaking to. Um, and then all of a sudden, the, the results that were coming back were much better because not only was I split testing those things, but I was iterating according to feedback. And the more variables that you try, the more data that you can get and the more optimized your outreach is gonna become. So I hate to see it and, and it breaks my heart, right? All these uh, agency owners, rookie agency owners were getting started, right? And they're being told, Hey, as long as you send out hundreds, you know, a hundred cold emails a day, right? Or as long as you do 50 cold calls a day, you are gonna uh, reap benefit from that. But if your subject line is completely terrible or your email copy is just absolute nonsense, right? Uh, or it's too aggressive, uh, like we spoke about in the second point, or your call to action is not an irresistible offer, or you're not reaching out to the right person in that organization, then sure, you could be working very hard, but your efforts are gonna be completely useless. So it's incredibly important that you get crystal clear on the different variables that you can tweak uh, depending on the outreach method that you pick, right? So for email copies, it may be the subject line, it may be the email copy, it may be the different call to action, it may be the recipient, right? It may even be your domain and the health of that domain to land on most inboxes, right? And once you've got those variables listed, you need to make sure you split test on those variables accordingly. And it was only when I started doing that, when I started optimizing, when I started actually putting together my automated sales funnel, which I talk about a lot on my channel and it's one of my secret sauces and one of the things that I share with my uh, mentorship students. It wasn't until I implemented that, that I started getting a hundred plus meetings booked every single month. And that's when my agency grew steadily. That's when I wasn't in a scarcity mindset. And that's when I had a, a really nice stream of leads um, and a full pipeline of leads ready to jump on at any uh, given point. And that is the way you can predictably uh, scale your agency. So those are the three rookie mistakes that I see most agency owners make that I made at the start of my journey and they wasted me a lot of time, energy, and money. So hopefully by implementing these, you guys can just completely avoid that and really get on the fast lane to agency success. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a massive thumbs up. I hope so down with the algorithm, the whole channel, and I really, really appreciate it. If you got to this point of the video, first of all, thank you so much uh, for taking the time. And it probably means that you found at least a, a bit of value in this video. So if you did, uh, I'd really appreciate it if you dropped a big thumbs up. I hope so down with the algorithm, the whole channel, and really appreciate it. Also leave down below any comments, any questions you may have on the video, and I'll be sure to check this out 
If you want to uh, check out more of my videos that are coming out on entrepreneurship, social media marketing agency, personal finance, and a ton of other really, really cool topics, go ahead and sub to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you never miss an update. And if you haven't joined an incredible community full of like-minded people looking to scale at their agency level up in life, uh, go ahead and check out my free Facebook mastermind. It's an incredible community. I'm going live in there. I'm posting free trainings that I'm not posting anywhere else. So if you want to check that out as well as join 2000 plus members at this point, go ahead and check out the link in the description. Go ahead and apply. And if you're a good fit, we will let you in. And as always, hope everything's going well in your journey. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.